good morning guys so for breakfast today I am having avocado toast so I have two slices of the Dave's killer bread the power seed which one slice is two points but two slices is three points on that I have a two points worth of avocado and then I have a hard-boiled egg oh also on the toast I have a one teaspoon of hemp hearts which is zero smart points and then I have a half a teaspoon of chia seeds, which is also zero smart points. If I'm wrong about those, it'll be on the screen, but my total points will be on the screen. Um, so if I'm calculating correctly, this is just five smart points. Then I have some mango over here as well for zero. So I'm drinking my lemon ginger water. So this is going to be breakfast. Okay, so I'm having mango with breakfast. Uh, and I had somebody ask me to show how I cut a mango. So there's two different ways that I have done it. So for one thing, the mango pit runs kind of long ways. So like this part right here is the pit on the inside. So you want to cut it kind of long way. See like this is not, so like you want to go like this. So it's kind of like the flat side of it. Kind of hard to explain. And sometimes I get it right right away and sometimes I don't is where the pit's at. So this one actually could be a little bit riper, but so one of the ways that I've seen people do it is they've just cut the cheeks off is what they're called and then cut down like this. Be careful you don't cut yourself. And this one is not quite ripe even though it felt like it was. And then you just go like this and then you can just eat the little pieces off like that or you could cut the chunks off and then the other way is you just take a cup that has a, a and I would prefer glass I would think because it because mangoes are really hard so or I guess if you have a really hard plastic cup but you want to take the lip and you just take the edge of the mango it's hard to do this how my camera set up and then and if it's really ripe it'll just come right out this one like I said it's just a little bit stiff so it is taking a little bit more muscle to get out because if it's a ripe one the peel just comes right off. So there you go and the whole cheek is empty so you can just take this part and slice it up. Now um, there's a lot left so you can kind of see the white part here that's where the pit's at. Um, this one I think I probably could have peeled a little bit more off this one. No maybe not and you'll know because you can't cut through that. But I'm wondering, I had somebody ask me if I used the mango peels to make like fruit infused water. So I thought about saving these this week and make, and trying that out and testing that out. So I'm going to stick these and this and this one and put them in a plastic bag and stick them in my freezer. And then see, and then this weekend I might do some kind of water thing. I don't know. But let me know if you guys have ever done that and how you do it. And I'm having some coffee with three tablespoons of the Better Half Creamer. Okay, so I'm putting my lunch together. So I just wanted to show you before I wrapped it all up. I'm using one of these low in carb, the Tomorrow's. Let's skip the sandwich. I got the white ones this week. These are one point a piece. If you do have two of them, though, they are three points. So they do stack up. Um, so in here I have some of the chickpea, buffalo chickpea salad that I made in meal prep yesterday. I will have that video link down below. So it's one smart point for the salad and then one smart point for the wrap. And then I'm going to put some sprouts on it and wrap it all. This has buffalo sauce in it. So I also think, actually I am, I'm going to take some of this. Let me show you. I think I'm going to put some of this in a container. I was going to put it on the wrap, but I think I'm going to go ahead and put it on the side and then just pour it in when I eat since I do have to take this to work so I won't be eating this until 12 o'clock. So this is one smart point. I'm just gonna do one tablespoon, but you can have two tablespoons for one smart point, but I'm just gonna do one tablespoon and I'll just put that in there when I eat lunch. So this will be my lunch today. I'll show it to you when it's all wrapped up. Okay, so here's my wrap all done. So this wrap is going to be two smart points and then actually three counting the blue cheese dressing that I'll have with it. So three smart points for that. Three smart points for one of my favorite yogurts. These are the Siggy's yogurts. They are made from grass-fed cows. There's also no artificial anything inside of them. So I've been really loving these yogurts. These will be the only ones I get from now on. I just feel like they are a lot better for you, or for me anyway, because of all the artificial sweetener stuff, I'm trying to get away from that. So this is three smart points for that, and the vanilla is one of my favorites so far. And then for snack today, 
I am bringing an apple, a banana, a cheese stick for one smart point. I have some carrots and celery, and then I have two tablespoons of garlic hummus for two smart points. So snacks today will be three smart points. Hey guys, so happy Monday. I actually did start vlogging this morning after I dropped my son off at school, but um, my phone rang and then I didn't get off of there in time to talk to you some more. So I thought I'd just start over because I have no idea what I had left off of or anything. So hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Mine was nothing exciting per usual. Uh, I did do a little bit of research on some recipes, so I want to talk to you guys about that. I forgot my sunglasses, and it is so gorgeous out here. It is so nice. It is 61. It feels a lot warmer, though. It's supposed to get to 78 today. I doubt it if it's 1220 and it's only 61 degrees. I doubt it'll get up to 78, but it's still gorgeous nonetheless. Um, I did spend the first 20 minutes of my lunch walking just wanted to get out and then I just want to get out some more I just don't want to go back into the office with it being so nice out but I am gonna to go to Marshall's I haven't been there in a little bit so I thought I'd walk around just to get out of the office get some more exercise just eat lunch at my desk I wasn't very hungry so I ate a couple oranges or like you know the little mandarins I ate a couple of those before I left for my walk that way I at least wouldn't be like starving um, anywho so what I wanted to ask you guys about so you know that um, I am really told you guys I wanted to dig and just kind of like dig around and learn more about healthy eating and more than just um, you know just eating within my points and I really want to you know make sure I'm eating foods that are nutritious for me I want to really get more experimental with recipes and with cooking and adding in ingredients that I maybe have never used before and some of them could be I never used because I was afraid to because of points and one of those things has been um, the hemp seeds, hemp hearts that I've been having on my avocado toast, which are so good, but I was always afraid those were so many points, so I never um, used them before, and now I see there really aren't a lot of points. I mean, they could be if you used you know, enough of them, but I've been able to work them into my day, no problem. And um, so I, I'm just kind of keeping the points out of my mind and just trying to focus on the health benefits of the things so things like um, using I don't know like okay so there's been a couple baking recipes that I've seen and I'm not like a huge you guys know I'm not like a huge sweet fan or huge like have to have dessert and I'm usually like don't need to have dessert at night but like this weekend kind of taught me that it is nice to have some of those things around especially you know when certain time of the month you may have certain cravings that you don't normally have and so I kind of just look at it like I really want to experiment with these things and I think doing it throughout the year is a great time then that way I kind of have some things maybe in my pocket for when um, Christmas time comes around or just holidays in general and I want to do try some baking and try to you know some new recipes that I can like honestly say to my family yes these are really good and just because they're healthy doesn't mean that they're not good and I just want some time to kind of play around with ingredients I don't use very often. One of those things being like almond flour is, is a prime example of something that I don't ever use. But I see it a lot in these like healthy healthy cooking. Like I'll see like healthy cookies and they all are like a base of like almond flour. So I'm thinking um, things like that. The other thing is like coconut butter. I saw it at... Um, grocery outlet I didn't pick any up because I wasn't really sure what I would do with it and then as I was looking at some of these recipes they a lot of them ask for either coconut oil or coconut butter and from the things that I have read it seems like coconut oil coconut butter things like that are highly nutritious for you and but they're gonna be super high in points so my question is for you guys I get to the point I know um, is that something that you guys want to see even if they're not point friendly because I know most of you are on Weight Watchers or have been on Weight Watchers or thinking about being on Weight Watchers because that's what my channel is but my channel is also my journey to healthy and that's you know I I just I also want to just experiment with things so these cookies that I'm making or these bars or something I don't even know granola bars protein balls that kind of thing they may not necessarily be Weight Watcher friendly point wise but they're gonna be health healthy friendly <laughs> does that even make sense so I just want to know do you guys want to see those recipes because I will share them with you no problem but I also don't want 
to get anybody upset because they're not plant friendly. So what I could do is in the description or even in the title, I could just put, you know, healthy cookie recipe. But if it's Weight Watcher friendly, then I could just put Weight Watcher friendly recipe. But if I feel like they're not Weight Watcher friendly, then I could not. Or I could just put, put them up there and then you guys can just decide if, they're, if you can fit them into your day. I mean, they may not be astronomical in points. I have no idea. I haven't even, like, tried that out. I'm just kind of, you know... Just throwing it out there, just, um, you know, just maybe, I don't know. I mean, as far as like, I don't know how many points these things are gonna be, I have no idea. But I'm just assuming they're not gonna be like a one point cookie, that kind of thing. But I just want to really incorporate things like the almond flour, flax meal, um, the coconut butters, coconut oils, those kind of things, and just to see how they work out and see what I think about them. And I just wanna, I don't know, I just wanna really just play around with some different recipes and that are, you know, supposed to be like healthy and see what I think. Because I haven't been really adventurous in my food in a long time. Actually, I'm not very adventurous trying out new foods at all, but I wanna change that and I want to just try new things. So let me know how much of it you guys wanna see and I will do that. So I'm gonna run into Marshall's. Um, dinner tonight. I believe is the spaghetti squash and I'm just I'm loosely basing it on this recipe it was the um, I had linked it in my grocery haul I believe it's called spaghetti squash like Mediterranean spaghetti squash boats uh, for one I'm not doing them as boats and it's really loosely based on that recipe but I'm gonna try that tonight and it has kale and um, feta cheese I can't remember what else was in there but I think it has I don't remember I'm sorry you guys but anyways I will have it linked down below and I will show that to you of course so if I find anything interesting on Marshall's I will show you if not then I will talk to you guys tomorrow but for now I am signing off bye guys hi guys so I am off work I thought I'd just check in because I looked at the recipe for tonight's dinner and I want to tell you everything that was going to go into it because once I get home and I start making dinner I don't have time to stop and, sh and tell you everything that goes in it so it sounds really good the original recipe I think I told you earlier was called like Mediterranean um, spaghetti squash chicken boats or something and again I'm not gonna do them inside the shells because I made my meal prep my spaghetti squash that's already all done um, it has though the the mixture that goes inside has its ground turkey but I'm gonna use ground chicken and I had the extra lean ground chicken so it's zero smart points and then you put kale, you put diced tomatoes, and you put, um, so the ground chicken, the kale, the diced tomatoes. You can put feta cheese and mozzarella cheese, ask for both. So I do have some fat-free mozzarella cheese and some fat-free feta cheese, so I'm going to put both of those in there. And the kale I got was like the kale salad mix, so it does have some other stuff like radicchio, and, and I think it has like broccoli slaw and some cabbage in there. So I thought, well, that would be good anyway. So I'm just gonna throw that in there with the ground turkey and the ground chicken and then the can of diced tomatoes. And I got the no salt added diced tomatoes. So I'll put all that in there with the cheese and then you mix it in with the spaghetti squash. So it's gonna make quite a bit. Um, when I put it into the recipe, build, recipe builder with four servings, because I'm thinking it'll make at least four servings, it comes up as one smart point, and that would be for the cheeses. So, um, not bad. I'm sure it's going to be pretty filling, and then I'll just have a salad on the side, possibly. I don't know. It just depends on how hungry, how hungry I feel, but I think I probably will do some kind of salad on the side, and that'll be dinner. So, I will show you that when it gets done. And then again, don't forget to let me know what you want to see if you don't, if you want to see any kind of healthy recipes that I want to share, um, regardless of the smart points or not. So let me know down below what you think about that. And if there are anything like any type of desserts or recipes that you'd like me to try to healthify, that might be kind of fun too to do something like that. I've actually kind of thought about doing that kind of a um, taking kind of a junk food type food and making it healthier but I'm I think I'm like way like far away from doing something like that I really want to do some research on some of these healthy food substitutions but um, I just want to hear from you guys what you think about them being you know maybe not so smart point friendly so anyway I probably said that like way too many times so I will talk to you tomorrow bye guys